Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here, and I thought today we'd go over some of the collaborative features that you have within Google Meet once you're actually in that meeting or video conference call. So to start off with, let's look in the upper right hand corner. You'll notice a little people icon, and if you click on this, it will tell you who's going to be in the call. You can also go to the right side of that, and you'll see a chat icon. If you click on that, that will allow you to have a chat with people that are on the call or sending something to multiple people at once. But but do keep in mind anything that you do throw into the chat bar here which you would do on the bottom right corner of our screen that is going to go to everybody you can't individualize who you're sending your chats to so just FYI but you can use it as a collaborative tool not only to talk to those people without speaking however you can also ping links like to Google Drive files and things of that nature into that chat bar for people to access while you're on your video call Speaking of that, down in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to give you an option to present your screen. If you click on that, you'll notice three options, one being fairly new. The entire screen option is going to allow you to present everything that's going to be on your monitor, and it will allow you to go between your different tabs that you may have open at the top of your screen. Now below that, you'll see a window. This will allow you to share one tab with that if you go to your other tabs like in my case I'm training I'm bopping back and forth between mail and calendar and drive screens it's only going to show the one tab that you've selected and then lastly the brand new feature is a Chrome tab so let's say for example I wanted to show you a YouTube video that I had recorded last month last week whatever it may be I can actually click on that a Chrome tab option with that tab being open to my YouTube channel or to my YouTube video that I want to show you and it will present into your screen literally as if you have that open and gone to that link much much better video quality much much better audio quality with that feature so that's a pretty cool piece that has recently been added in the bottom right hand corner you're gonna see the three dot icon a couple of other things that you may see here not only to collaborate but to utilize maybe if somebody can't make your meeting and you want to share it with them later you'll have the option to record your meetings now when you do this it will record your Google Meet when you click on the record button and it will stop recording either when you as the person that clicked on record stops the recording or when the last person leaves the meeting so if you click record you leave that meeting you forget to click stop record it's gonna stop once that last person has closed or left the meeting there so just FYI on that but what's kinda of cool is it creates it as a video we will save it into your Google Drive from there you can share it out with whomever you wish to share it out with just like a Google Drive file and then there's other things that you may want to utilize within this not necessarily collaborative wise but you have the ability to be able to change your layout maybe go into more of a tiled view and see more of your coworkers there that is just underneath the record option and you'll see that you can go to maybe that tiled view which is fairly new as well and then if you've got it turned on for your domain you may also have the ability to live stream from Google Meet this will give you the ability to live stream your recording or your Google Meet live to up to a hundred thousand people they will automatically be muted but they will also not be able to interact with you so they won't be able to chat with you and do all that commenting and collaborative work that way but it is a great way to be able to broadcast to a really large audience and then lastly the last piece that you have is in the lower left corner of your screen and that is going to be all of your information that you can quickly add people to with the joining information you can pop it into a chat box and share that information out that way people will be able to jump right in with that link or code that you give them just like if you went to the upper right corner and you click on that people tab you have the option to add additional people there you can invite them or you can call them so I just wanted to show you some of those collaborative tools that you have within Google Meet once you have jumped in. Until we meet again, everyone, another day, another time, another update or video as a helper, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.